Years, Brad, years. Commissioners approved this ordinance years ago. It's not clear tonight if there was a member of the clerk's office at those meetings or how the office couldn't have known this existed for so long. What is clear? What they put in writing today. Quote, this week the sheriff's office informed the clerk's office of the ordinance and the existence of the animal abuser registry. <coughs> meant to keep convicted animal abusers from getting their hands on new victims. Here's the Cook County ordinance that's been on the books for nearly three years. The one the clerk's office says it didn't know existed. This isn't just an administrative failure. Oh, we've got animals that are probably dying because of this. The clerk's office claiming it was never informed, though its role in this and the corresponding animal abuser registry is right there in black and white. Quote, when a person is convicted of an animal abuse crime, the presiding judge shall notify the convicted individual of their requirement to register. The clerk of the court shall send notice of the conviction and the individual's name, address, date of birth, and offense for which he or she has been convicted to the Cook County Sheriff's Office. It's not clear if judges were issuing those orders, but now we know why no offenders' names made it from the clerk's to the Sheriff's Office. Names like Leon Teague, the Southside man who went to prison after pouring scalding water on a cat in a Facebook video. And Edward Hanania, who replied to a missing ad, paid the reward to get the dogs, and then threw them off a five-story parking garage. He also went to prison. A spokesperson from their office wouldn't go on camera, but answered some of our questions via email, telling CBS2 as soon as they were informed of the ordinance and the existence of the registry, Quote, immediately, the clerk's office's technology bureau was directed to run a report to obtain the required data and submit it to the sheriff's office. The clerk's office also implemented a daily reporting procedure with the sheriff's office of individuals in Cook County that have been convicted of an animal abuse crime. Now, the Cook County Sheriff's Office tells us they've received the information they need from the clerk's office and they'll start enforcing the ordinance tomorrow by reaching out to people who need to register. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Erica? Thank you, Tara.